What's up? I'm MC Vert. I'm Synthetic. And we're going to break down Just Wanna Rock by Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah. I just want to rock. I just want to... I just want to rock. Body out of ya. Shorty got that body out of ya. Hit it once, no time. Side up, fuck, you gon' kill my vibe. Stand on my money, don't know my size. So the way Just Wanna Rock kind of came about was that around July, um, Cody hit me up that MC Vert wanted to work. And I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. Brought us into a group chat. We chopped it up and I sent MC Vert um, some of my melodies from like July time. It was like 100, 200 melodies in there. And one of the melodies happened to be just a Just Wanna Rock melody. Fast forward to around September, uh, MC Vert sent me a message on Instagram showing me the snippet. And I was like, oh, what is this? And then I clicked on it. I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, it's fucking Uzi. I was like shocked, bro. I was like, holy shit. We really got the Uzi shit. Like, I've I wanted to get a song with this man and MC Ray made that shit possible bro and at the time it was just a snippet so like I wasn't like really like too hopeful that it would drop because Uzi be recording a lot but shit that shit dropped and it went viral on TikTok it was just cra crazy feeling seeing a bunch of people just dance to to our beat and I don't know shit feels surreal to be honest so let's get into it I'm gonna dissect how I created the melody for Just Wanna Rock yeah let's do it yeah, so the first sound I actually used for the melody was this Jupiter 8 bow and strings preset. I probably like manipulated a little bit with the knobs and made this chord progression, which I'm going to play now. Yeah, so honestly, like this melody it sounds like a typical Yeet progression, but I think what really kind of like gives it this like new feel is like the preset. It sounds kind of like haunting and spooky. Then add these like little cool top line to like transition from like first two bars to the next two bars. Yeah, and the chords just sound giant and like anthemic, and I feel like that's what really like makes it sound powerful. I feel. So the next sound I used a Juno Six, uh, the Yesterday Land lead, and this is how that melody goes. Yeah, so actually for this melody, I didn't use Serum. I typically only use Serum because like my go-to like VST. But I think during this time, I was really trying to like push myself to try some new VSTs. And I really fell in love with the Juno and Jupiter because they just have this like sort of like retro nostalgic vibe to them. They think the sounds are already really well made and you can manipulate them in a way that allows you to make them your own. But yeah, shout out Arteria, Jupiter and Juno. The third sound I used was um, this Morning do preset from Jupiter 8. And this is how that melody goes, kind of like a ARP. I'll play real quick for y'all. So what's cool about this sound is that the chords are pretty just like stabby and static. This layer gives like the whole melody like movement, which I really fuck with. And it adds to like that mysteriousness and the anthemic vibe to it. The fourth sound was this thrill seeker uh, lead probably. And it's just like kind of like a little ARP-ish kind of sound. I'm going to play that for y'all. It's like a descending arp, kind of sounds a little creepy, a little dark. Um, just gives more movement to the melody again, especially when you're just doing like chords. Like you don't want to add all the moving pieces to just that one MIDI. So I kind of just like separate everything, add different sounds to kind of, kind of glue everything together, create movement, create that vibe. So I'm going to play the melody all the way through and kind of give you guys an idea of like the way I arranged it. So yeah, with this melody, it's just like super simple, like effects, like really just EQ, just get rid of those unwanted frequencies, some reverb. Um, this is really just about like choosing um, presets that just like, sound good already and feel whole, feel refreshing, feel new. And yeah, and just combining them together. And that's how you come up with this, like an interesting melody without having to do too much to it. But yeah, I'm really thankful the song came out because it's like a combination of like what I consider the synthetic sound to be and like MC Vert sound just kind of like combined together. And it really just made something unique and one of a kind. and. I think people really gravitated towards that because it's so refreshing to see to see and hear something different that people have been hearing for the last couple of months, especially this year. What's up? It's your boy MC Vert. I'm a 19-year-old producer from Jersey, and this is how I made the drums for Just Wanna Rock. So first thing I started with, the bass. I got a bass drum, 
And this is how I started the sequence. Pretty much, that's the sequence. That's the Jersey Club beat right there. So after that, when people would be making their Jersey Club beats and stuff, they would just put like the sample, the melody, and just the beat. That's not a Jersey Club beat. Like you gotta add like sun in the background that's gonna make you wanna dance, feel me? So like I added this girl voice. She's saying, shake it, shake it down. This is like the whole thing of it. Ladies, shake your down. <laughs> Bounce it. <laughs> yeah, so, so I just chopped up the shake your dunk and I like made like first dunk 50 volume and I got the second dunk on 30 volume. I just keep doing that repeatedly. One high one, one low one, one high one, one low one. I'm really giving y'all sauce right now. I'm really giving y'all sauce. When you're making a Jersey Club beat, you gotta add like something like that. Even if it's just like that one repeating sound, like you gotta have like that one repeating sound in it. So after all of that, I added a little taps, a little tap, tap, taps that you hear in the back, like right here. My goal for these beats is like to make you want to dance and stuff, make you want to get up and dance. Like other producers, he'll make like beats like this, like for somebody to rap on. Like I used to dance, so like when I make a beat, I like put in my perspective, me dancing, me like trying to catch the beat in my head. Uzi had texted me last year, November. He told me that I was like one of his favorites for me. And like, I was a shock to me because like Uzi is like my favorite rapper. Like, I got the name Vert from Uzi. So like him saying I'm his favorite, like was really like crazy, like it was a shock. He told me pull up to the stool, I pull up to the stool, met him. I gave him some beats, but I didn't know if he hopped on a beat or not. So like a few months later, he had a dance to one of my songs I dropped on SoundCloud. It's called Maddie. And then I shared on Instagram, tagged him, and then I texted him. I was like, thank you. I love you. He was like, I love you more. And I was like, I got some beats for you, some Jersey beats for you to hop on. He was like, need him. He sent me a number. I sent like hella me and synthetic beats, hella beats that I made. Two weeks after I sent him, he had texted me from a new number. And then he was like, yo, his vert, he sent me a song. And then he was like, I bodied this. I heard the song. I had a damn. I had a whoa. I had a this ain't what you want. I just wanna rock. Six to on the block. <laughs> and then like, I'm like, damn, like I just knew like it was gonna be a banger. He told me to do a video, post it on TikTok. He told me to post the snippet on Instagram. When I posted it, shit just went viral from there. It's on TikTok, everywhere on TikTok. 100 k videos going crazy. So yeah, that's how me and MC Vert made Just Wanna Rock by Lil Uzi Vert. Shout out MC Vert, shout out Project X, shout out Cody, shout out Internet Money. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.